Okay, so next thing, I have a midpoint, which makes two equal parts. And I have a bisector, which makes two equal parts. And hopefully at this point, this late in the uh, unit here, you remember that we, when we bisect, we either get angles or segments, and it's based on what gets cut in half. I'm cutting a segment in half, which means I'm getting two equal parts, which are segments. All right, and this becomes more and more important as we get closer to writing proofs. All right, so let's go ahead and find this stuff. So JG gets cut in half by a midpoint. It's two equal parts in blue would be that and that. And then KF gets bisected. So it has two equal parts in purple, which would be that and that. So then I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, okay, is there a reflexive property? I don't see any two triangles that share a side in common. I actually only see two triangles. And they don't share a side in common, but I do see this X ray here. And whenever I see an X, I have vertical angles. Now, this is the first thing time we're going to see this. The vertical angles need to be inside of two triangles so it actually helps me. So there are vertical angles here where I'm going to put a one and a two. The problem is those are not inside of the triangles, all right? And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, there's one of the triangles and there's a second triangle. So that angle at one and two are not inside of there. But these two angles right here are. So I want to put those angles right there with my marks. And then down here, I'm going to write vertical angles are congruent. All right, so now I have all of my marks based on what it says and what I can tell from the picture. Here are my five ways to show the triangles are congruent. I'm going to walk my way through. There's no right angle, so that's out. All right, I only have two pair of congruent sides. Okay, this one's possible, all right, because I have two pair of congruent sides and a pair of angles. And then I only have one pair, all right, only one pair of equal angles there and there, all right? So I've got that, all right, that's where I'm at. Now, this looks just like the last one we did, if you did it, because I'm left with side, angle, side is my possibility. It doesn't mean it's true. It means it's possible, all right? I have to remember the angle is in the middle. So, I'm going to look here. There's one of my sides. There's the other side. There's the middle. And that's exactly where the angle is. So, this is yes, because side angle side. All right. And again, it's because the angle is in the middle. That's the difference between this one and number two.